Hello! Welcome back, once again, to another installment of Jeff Finnegan's Wake. The project where I sit at my computer desk, in my bathrobe, with a microphone on my desk, and I read to you from this old copy of Finnegan's Wake by James Joyce, the Irishman. Ah. And, uh, it's from 1939. It's a novel. A lot of, uh... It's a difficult novel. I, uh, I, I, I don't practice this. I don't claim to know. I still don't really know what's going on. Um, I know that this is probably better read by somebody with an Irish brogue and who can kind of understand what these uh, various uh, dialects and portmanteaus and allegory and, you know... Uh, puns and all this shit um so that's kind of what it's about it's not about me it's not an audio book because clearly because i do this stupid intro every time it's not you wouldn't listen to it to like really follow the story so really it's just me it's a a challenge i guess to myself but it's also a uh, i don't know just a thing to give me a reason to to Keep engaging with people, or at least stay engaged. Um, I don't know. I'm having fun. I do this and Infinite Jeff. This is Jeff Finnegan's Wake, where I read Finnegan's Wake. There's Infinite Jeff, where I read Infinite Jest, but David Foster Wallace. That's also, uh, I do that too. Um, but, so, like, I don't know if anyone's ever going to listen to this. And that's okay. Because I'm doing it for me. I think it's... I don't know. It's neat. But anyway, we're up to page number 15. I'm going to page 16. Because then I will have the second week of the CAD. Some tired stones. It's been a long day. I had to open. I had to open at work. Which means i got to be there at 5.30 in the morning. Which is early. I usually don't sleep those nights. Because uh, I don't sleep all that well. Uh, especially when I, you know, I gotta be up at a time, an early time. My brain's like, don't, don't, you, don't you fall asleep, man. You only got two hours to bat. So, page 15, Finnegan's Wake. Here we go. The dusk rose has chewed out Goatstown hedges. Tulips have pressed to gather them by sweet rush. Townland of twined lights, the white thorn and the red thorn have fairy gayed the May Valleys of Knockmaroon, and, though for rings round them, during a chiliad of Perihigal gangs, the Formorians have brittled the Tuath of the Danes, and the Oxmen has been pestered by the firebugs, and the joints have been thrown up jerry-building to the Kevinses, and little on the green is child's father of the city, year, year, and left tears, these pack ceiling buttonholes have quadrilled across the centuries and whiff now weft to us, fresh and made of all smiles as, on the eve of kill all who. The babblers with their thangas vain have been, confusium hold them. They were and went, thigging thugs were and hohan him, song toms were, comely norgals were, and polyfool finance fiances. Men have thawed, Clerks have sursahummed, the blonde has sought of the brune, else kiss thou may, mean carry piggy. And the dunkel dames have countered with the hellish fellows, who ails tongue cod you, a space of dumbbill silly. And they fell upon one another, and themselves they have fallen. And still no way nights, and by nights of yore, do all bold floras of the field to their chafon lovers say only, Call me ere I wilt to thee, and, but a little later, pluck me whilst I blush. Well, may thee wilt, marry, and profusedly blush, betroth, for that saying is as old as the howitz. Lave a whale, a while, a wheelbarrow. Isn't it the truth I'm telling ye? To have fins and flippers that shimmy and shake. Tim Timmy can, timpt her, timpting tam, flippity, flippity, fleep how. Hop. 
In the name of Anam, this Carl, on the Kupja, in pelted thongs, a parth alone, who the Joe Bigger be he, for shape in his pig maid, hog's head, hoag's head, shrunk his plod's foot. He hath locked toes, the short shins, and obi old that's per pectoral, his mamma muscles most moistrous. It is slaking nunchin out of some thing's brain pan, me seemeth a dragon man. He is almost on the kip fief by here, is come stipple saxon, be it junipri, junipieri, or februari, marix, or abril, elabril, or the ramping riots of parpus and parus, porus, and. And that was page number 15. Uh, Quince.